so sweet to be able to get into a pose and feel it and feel your thighs burning because you're sinking low to the mat and feeling your arms reach and your chest open. When every day, I mean, most of the people in our society are at their desks, are typing away, their mind is somewhere else, they're racing, you know, for the next event they have to go to, what they have to do after work, just continually grasping at external things. And yoga really just brings it back to the mat, to yourself. So maybe hip opener, letting the knees go bow and the feet come together. You know, I teach a six o'clock class on Wednesdays and a lot of them come right from work and just see them get in that first down dog and feel that lengthening of the spine is so special. It's just this like sigh of relief. It's beautiful. Then we warm up with sun salutations, which are very repetitive. Through your chaturanga, up dog, down dog, and the sweat starts to show. People start to, you know, build a lot of heat. They're also meant to really during your day get out of it. And it's so simple that your practice should just be good for you. I think that was a big lesson for me is I was always so concerned about people around me and how they're feeling and how can I please them. And yoga really taught me to look inward. Focus on yourself, know how you're feeling and have the ability to understand that in your everyday. I really just want to allow students to feel strong in the sense of their strength that's building, but also feel strong in their ability to control their thoughts and to really be present. But your yoga is also how you act at the grocery store to find your yoga in more aspects of your life than just on your mat, but knowing that it all starts on your mat.